Hey there, everyone. Welcome to the 2022 through 2023 AFC South Week 12 review. Oh, oh my word. Yeah, yeah. Jacksonville Jaguars were the only team to secure a victory today, tonight, this week. Oh, oh yeah. Oh my word. But it helped the Tennessee Titans regardless of that that game against Cincinnati Bengals. Oh, oh yeah. Because, yeah, the Jaguars were playing the Ravens. But that, w that wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for that lightning storm. I mean, seriously, Jacksonville got extra time because of that lightning storm. Ooh, oh yeah. Still, Jacksonville, yeah, extra time to prepare. It was a close game. Jacksonville's last two points, last points, it was a touchdown and a two-point attempt. Oh uh, yeah, and Justin Tucker missed the 67-yard field goal attempt. Too much for Justin Tucker. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, man, yeah, it ended 28-27. Oh, now we're piling up the losses. Oh, oh, if you caught my reaction video, you know Bengals and Titans ended with Bengals as the winner. Oh, yeah, Bengals defense, Red Titans, especially Derrick Henry. Oh, I mean, seriously, I mean, seriously, why isn't their defensive coordinator getting a head coaching gig just yet? Oh, I mean, seriously, n n not, uh, not just that. Why is Ty Downing still there? Because Mike Vrabel is always going to defend him, and he's going to keep on getting the job as long as Mike Vrabel is around. So guess what? Forget, forget saying fire Todd Downing, because Mike Vrabel is always going to say, Hell no, hell no, hell no. <laughs> That's right. Todd Downing will always remain as long as Mike Frabel's around. So you're gonna have to wait till Mike Frabel is gone, which will oh, which will never happen until Titans start tank, tanking. <laughs> but anyways, back to the game. Back to the game recap. Oh yeah, B Bengals won that game without Joe Mixon, without Jamar Chase. Oh oh yeah, that was that was brutal. Oh Joe Burrow. He really knew how to, really knew how to. I mean, seriously, if Joe Burrow was drafted in our division, we would be demolished. Ugh, oh my word. I mean, seriously. Either way, Bengals won twenty to sixteen. Ugh, oh my word. But still, now we move on to Houston Texans, who got destroyed by Miami Dolphins. Ugh. Yeah, Dolphins scored 30 points in the first half. Ugh, oh my word. Yeah, I can't believe it. They didn't score any points in the second half after that, but Houston Texans scored 15 afterwards. Ooh. So, yeah, it ended 30-15. to 15. But still, now then we moved on to Monday Night Football between Pittsburgh Steelers and Indianapolis Colts. Colts could have gotten a redemption after Bengals beat the Titans, but unfortunately... Pfft, yeah, no figure. Steelers won, even though Najee Harris got injured. Oof. I mean, seriously. Ugh. Oh, my word. Yeah, go figure. Ugh. Oh, my word. Oh, my word. So, now we move on to week 13. We're finally in December, folks. This is where the big, the big, big, big games are coming into place. And, unfortunately, Houston Texans are the only team to be battling an AFC team this week. Ooh. Oh, yeah. And, and it's finally here. It's finally here. Too bad it's not an important game, however. Yeah, Houston Texans will be battling Cleveland Browns in which is Deshaun Watson's premier game. Too bad, unfortunately. Both teams... <laughs> not a good way for Deshaun Watson to be coming back. Ugh. Oh, man. Oh, man. But still, what a way to battle against his former team in a tank. <laughs> oh. oh, my word. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Now we move on to the teams that are battling NFC teams. Starting with Jacksonville Jaguars, who won their game. Oh, uh, yeah. They will be battling the Detroit Lions. Whoa. 
Yeah, the battle of the ki- of the battle of the cats. Meow. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. And then we then we move on to Tennessee Titans. They will be battling the Philadelphia Eagles, folks. Oh yeah, battling the number one seed Philadelphia Eagles after coming off a loss to Cincinnati Bengals. Crap. Yeah, it's uh, and they're expected to take on AJ Brown, but luckily. No C.J. Gardner-Johnson, because he's ruled out indefinitely. Thank you, Green Bay Packers. Even though C.J. Gardner-Johnson, get well soon. Ugh. Oh, my word. Ugh. Ugh. Anyways, now we move on to Indianapolis Colts. They got a Sunday night football game, which should have gotten flexed against Dallas Cowboys. Oh, Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's the Week 13 preview. Anyways, that is the Week 12 review, and I'll see you all when I bring you even more breaking news.